a lot of people are pretty busy on this Thanksgiving holiday. Some people are going over to visit friends, others are making turkey, or maybe they're out and about in the community. So we here at WREX decided to come to you to find out how you celebrate this Thanksgiving. Before I could even knock on the Perez family's door, I was welcomed inside. I'm with 13 News. Hi, nice to meet you. You're going to have Thanksgiving tonight? We are. Alicia Perez is cooking for 45 people. No stress here, though. She's already putting her plan in place. We have a total of three turkeys and a ham, 15 pounds of mashed potatoes. We have two different types of stuffing. We have 10 pounds of yams cooked. And though her kids are thinking about their favorites, um, turkey. <laughs> Townhouse pie. She has them working in the kitchen with her. Over at Swedish American Hospital, it's a regular work day for doctors and staff. Dr. Kavita Mohan signed up to work today with her husband. They're eating an impromptu Thanksgiving meal the hospital made for them, but this won't be the only one. We're going to go home and have more stuff, so one meal is not enough for Thanksgiving. <laughs> It's also a day of work for Doris and Cliff Woese at Court Street United Methodist Church. The two have spent their Thanksgivings volunteering since 1981, when the church first started serving the dinner. But when people volunteer, it's because they want to help someone, so that's why they do it. We've done it year after year and we enjoy it. I do different things each year. While everyone says they're grateful for the people they get to share their meal with, the Perez family can't help but feel like their table of 45 is a little bit empty. Their oldest son, Stephen, can't be home with them. He's in the Navy serving overseas. Alicia hopes he can see this story online and know his family is thinking of him. Happy Thanksgiving, son. Thank you for serving our country and staying away on our behalf. Love you. For your news leader, Happy Thanksgiving. Rebecca Clough, 13 News.